Transparent house in Japan. Welcome home, you can never be naked again. I'll take a big pass on this one. Seems very inconvenient. You have zero privacy, zero. Like there's no windows. I guess that's what you call an open plan living. She's sleeping in a house pod, like in the sky that they found at Airbnb. It's 400 miles in the sky. That's so high up. Can you imagine if you got all the way up there and we're like, oh no, I left my phone in the car. That'd be awful. How do you even like bring your luggage? I guess you would have to pack light, which means this is not the place for me. <laughs> Imagine finding this on Google Maps. Honestly, guys, don't you hate it when this happens? You're minding your business and then all of a sudden, bam, shark falls in your house. Hashtag relatable, am I right? I wonder if they ever put like Christmas lights on it. That'd be cute. Okay, but what's so up with your ceiling? Question. What's up with the ceiling? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Uh, that one's Where white, is it? But what's up with it? Uh, weird because I kind of live in a rock. What? Dude, have you been living under a rock this whole time? And he's like, actually, yes, I have. I've been literally living under a rock. Okay, this is so insane. And for a second, I was really scared for the dog. I'm like, don't fall in. But then I saw that there was glass. Like, it's beautiful. But if I woke up here, I'd be like, wait, did I die? Is this heaven? Look, like, don't lie. This looks like what heaven would look like. Just chilling in the clouds. Hey, who turned this house upside down? A lot of people don't know this, but this is what really happens at the end of Wizard of Oz. How do you sit on that bench? That's what I really want to know. Or is it just there as decoration? Some high quality fish content. They have a literal pond in their lawn, I guess. I can't tell if this is scary a really great way to always have fresh, fresh sushi. sushi. Either way, it's scary for someone, you or the fish. What? Is this a house for hobbits? Whoa, these houses are in barrel pods beside a pool. This is what I would imagine it's like to live inside a burrito. Come over, babe. It's just me and my burrito house. But we have a pool. Ring the Taco Bell. Everyone has that one elevator in their house. It could be hydraulic or a elevator. Pony. What? I don't have Ours an elevator in my house. Is this. <sighs> Who's this person who thinks everybody has an elevator in their house? When I was little, I always thought people with stairs in their house were fancy. If I saw this house, I'd be like, wow, does a king live there? I'm honestly impressed. Tiny house built from a shipping container. Oh, that's clever. I can't believe it all fits in a shipping container. It's so nice. And when you want to move, you just slide this on a ship and go. That's how shipping containers work, right? Her parents let her have her own tiny house in the garden shed. This is so cute, I'm jealous. Aw, she really souped it up. She made use of the space. You don't have to have a lot of room to make it look cute. I can't tell this is a boat or a house. What? Okay, this is crazy. Okay, it's pretty cool. Never underestimate a steampunk with a decorating budget. So many things. The only thing I find like a little strange is that they left the tags on so many things. See, look, now they're just bragging. Or maybe they're going to have a yard sale after this. Wow, this house has a grass roof. That's so cute. It looks like a little grass wig. It also kind of looks like they planted a seed and it grew a house. You can even like walk on the roof and there's animals there. I, I like this house. It's so pretty and like cute looking. 10 out of 10 would live. Are they building this home? It's a transformer house? Optimus Prime real estate, am I right? Okay, I'm done. Uh, this would be really useful if you had to move though. You just fold up the house and go anywhere you want. You'll never be homesick again. Why does this look easier to put together than Ikea furniture? <laughs> That's pretty unusual. Whoa, this is so beautiful. I want to go there. Is it like just a trailer though? They made it look that aesthetically pleasing. I'm impressed. When you think of like trailer, you definitely don't think luxury, but this looks luxurious. So I went to Puerto Rico for the first time and look at this Airbnb, we found one, it's a tree house. Does that lady on the swing come with it? That looks like so much fun. I want a swing and a tree house. My only fear is like the bugs. Staying in the rainforest sounds like there's a lot of bugs. A potato? This house is a potato? I honestly thought I'd seen it all, but this is wild. Imagine if my coworker was like, Assy, what did you do this weekend? Oh, nothing, just, just, you know, played a Taylor Swift record and slept in a potato. Ooh, it's a floating houseboat. I hope the person that lives there doesn't get seasick. They have nowhere else to go. It's pretty cool. Is it safe to be in a houseboat if there's a thunderstorm though? Sounds dangerous. Another fish house. Some people have one goldfish in a jar, but these guys have an entire aquarium. Like you could pay admission to go look at all their fish. I would honestly just hang out in this room all day. I, I love fishies. They're so cute. Wait, why is having a huge hole in the floor cool? Like most people would consider that a flaw. Also, why is there light in it so you can see the monsters better? No thanks, that's terrifying, right? I need to pause this video and look at it again. 
This one, I don't get. How is this someone's house? It looks like Disneyland. I keep expecting Ariel to pop up. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? I think your collection's complete. <laughs> Horrible roommate check. Disgusting house check. This is awful. I would kick that roommate out so fast. He'd live a little outline on the wall like a cartoon character. I'm telling you. You know what really upsets me about this is the gas station's worth of old food. The complete lack of respect. You know what? None of this is just for me. Whoa, imagine waking up every day by the beach. That would be so nice. <sighs> Honestly, put a finger down if you feel mad that your house isn't on the beach. Random things in my Japanese home that just make sense. Okay, sick. Japanese home. We have a home. door right next to the stove top. It actually slides open <gasps> oh. for ventilation at the bottom. Smart, smart. I mean, not that I cook, but smart. Almost every door in our house slides, which saves space in all the hallways. That's, that does our make sense. Our stove actually has a heat temperature setting for cooking rice. <sighs> That is so cute. Honestly, this house is so clean, so cute. It sparks joy. I need that rice sitting in my oven. And also someone who will cook the rice for me on my oven. Does that come with the house too? What? Is this a hotel pool or is this somebody's actual house? Nice try. I don't think this is your house. It's like the Holiday Inn or something. Next thing they'll be like, we love all these free tiny shampoos we have everywhere. When the ship crashes, you might as well turn it into a house. Maybe they should be friends with the guy with the shark on his roof. I bet this happened during the same storm. Okay, these windows look cool, but like, what would you do if you went home to someone's house and they were like, low key, I live in a stained glass garlic clove. Cause that's what this is. <laughs> hey, wanna hang out in my mushrooms house? <laughs> This is ridiculous. I bet whoever has this house is a fun guy. Get it? Fun guy? Fun guy? Ayy. They probably get that a lot. If not, miss pun opportunities. Every day is leg day when you live in this house. Big ripperoni. Again, you do not want to accidentally leave your phone in the car in this house. Crab house. Nice. Sebastian from Little Mermaid is still getting those royalty checks. He really needs to come out of his shell more. Living on an airplane. That's pretty cool. That's pretty unique. Does anyone see my plane? It's already two hours late. Somebody's living in it. Wait, you can live inside of an egg. I actually do want to feel like a baby chicken. Thank you very much. Now this is kind of hard to explain, but this is what happens when houses fall in love. Me. <laughs> So cute. Wait, is this photoshopped or is this actually real? I love to just loaf around the house most days. This is also a sea like person's version of a haunted mansion. This is kind of amazing and kind of ridiculous at the same time. Like who's like, I want to live in a giant green horse. That or the contractors misheard you and you said greenhouse for plants. And they were like, oh. I got you. You gotta enunciate more. Stop mumbling. Remember all those houses that had all those fish in it? This one is just a fish on the outside. These people were like, hold my fish food. I got you. This is a concept cloud house that is suspended on wires. Looks dangerous, but I still want to see what it looks like on the inside. It also kind of looks like Olaf went to the gym and got swole. <laughs> swole. Do you want to bench like a snowman? When my crush tells me he likes a girl with a sense of humor. I'm like, hey, how you like that? Oh, this looks terrifying. Like you better hope the suspension wires are in the mood for holding you up that day. Ugh. Karen, can I call you back later? I'm hanging by a thread today. Three out of this world rotating homes because there is so much to see. What? I guess you would never get bored of the view. Do you think that you'd get nauseous, like car sick as it rotates? Rotates as the seasons change. Oh, so it's not turning the whole time. It's just always so you get the most amount of sun. I know they say like rotating, but they can't fool me. This house is clearly a spaceship. It's a trap, guys. The aliens are trying to get you, but I'm not falling for it. And even if there weren't aliens, like I said, motion sickness would get me first. It's pretty cool. Fine, I like it. Fine, I'll take the chance of getting abducted by aliens. Here's another one. So pretty, that's pretty cool for you. Okay, fine, sold. <laughs> The whole front of this house in London just decided it was tired and doesn't want to put up with anybody anymore. Honestly, I can relate. I feel you, house. This is 2020 in a house. They've had cars whose doors flip up for years, like Lambos and stuff. But where have the houses with flip up doors been? I bet you use like a button to open up this guy too. Is my home weird for not being more like a car? I think the aliens are here. Guys, before you move into a place, always ask yourself if it's a spaceship. Always. That's how I've avoided abduction for so long. Life hacks. You know real estate really be getting expensive when they're selling one square meter houses. This is like how you can use it. You can put it on its side if you want to sleep or upright if you want to sit down. I hate it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.